I'm George Musser, Space and Physics Editor at Scientific American, and this is my daughter, Eliana. Hi. In this episode, we're going to simulate what the Moon and Earth go through when they're bombarded by meteoroids. You may have seen a meteor before burning up the night sky. We call them shooting stars. But as we'll see, when they hit solid ground, they can cause a lot of damage. For this activity, you're going to need the following. A large shallow pan. Some flour. Some pudding mix or cocoa powder. And some things to throw, like nuts, seeds, small fruit. You also need a... Flour sifter to layer things up. To start, we're going to cover the bottom of our pan with about an inch or two of flour. Ellie, you can help me with this. We want to get it kind of even across the pan, too, about an inch. My hand is all floury. Next, we'll take the cocoa powder and the sifter, and we're going to make a slight layer of cocoa on the Good job. Great. So what we've recreated is something like the surface of the moon. I think we'll add a couple of astronauts for effect. I like a chimpanzee. First, we'll try a large meteor close to the pan. Bombs away. Next, we'll use a smaller meteor, but we'll hold it high above the pan. This will increase the force on impact. Okay, now we'll try a variety of meteoroids from different distances and angles. Let me take a couple. Here you go. Let's, let's do it. Take one at a time. Let's get up and just whack them. Whoa. What? <laughs> Let's take some more. Get a big one. <laughs> Dad, watch this. Oh, yes. <laughs> like that is a meteor shower. Well, as you can see, our simulated moon is pretty scarred up from all the meteoroid strikes. If you look closely, you can see that as the meteoroid hit the ground, they threw powder out in every direction. That's what scientists call ejecta, and scientists can figure out the size of the meteoroid based on how much ejecta was thrown out. For more activities to try at home, visit our website at scientificamerican.com forward slash bring science home. Bring science home, yay. Yeah.